have a box that was shipped to me as a surprise. Dan from another maker has reached out to me to say, hey, you want to learn some Adreno and some uh, electronics programming and stuff like that? I got something for you. So I was like, hey, cool, sweet. So he sent me this nice big box. I was just expecting something really small, like a little envelope with um, some Arduinos and some little uh, Pico uh, programming units. Sorry, I'm not the terminology because I have no idea how to use them. I've never known how. Um, we correspond a little bit back and forth through email saying, uh, I'd love to learn that because I want to uh, do that. I asked him, what unit should I start with? And this is what I'm trying to achieve. And he goes, ah, got you covered. I'm going to send you a couple things. So, like I said, I was expecting just a small little box and then to uh, go back and forth. But I got this big thing. So I was away for a week and a half. So this has been sitting on my desk for about three days. And, uh... Yeah, this is a big box, so I'm gonna open it. Huge shout out to another maker on YouTube. He's following me and we've been talking back and forth. Awesome guy, he's very good at programming. He's got a couple cool videos that I really like that are on his channel there. I mean, this is not gonna be an easy box to open up, but hey, let's give it a try here. Holy crap. What do we got in here? Okay, hold on. Holy crap, there's so much in here. There's a big box right here. Let's get this out of the way. It's not a light box either, it's pretty heavy. It's got lots of goodies in here. Holy crap. Ribbon cables with breakout cables. USB cable. Oh. Neat. Neat. Holy oh, crap. Oh, we got some tires. Huh. What's in here? What the heck? Those are some nice little tires. What are we making here, Dan? A note. A note. Although I recently discovered your channel, I'm really enjoying it. I build. I am. I know building a channel feels like a grind sometimes, but if you really enjoy it, keep pressing on. I'm really enjoying it. I'm hoping to uh, get to really. I, I'm not expecting to make millions, but my whole goal with my channel is to get enough um, subscribers and make a little bit of revenue to buy amplifier kits, say off of eBay, on uh, DIY auto forums, and all that stuff. Build them, measure them, learn them, and then give them out to you guys. Because really, how many amplifiers do I really need? So that's my goal. But anyways, I know you said you had some interest in learning Adreno. Yes, yes I do. So I wanted to send you some Adreno related things that I hope you at least find interesting. I don't want to give you give away too much what's in the box, but I have some videos on my channel that will keep that will help some of this stuff, and I'm happy to provide some tech support. Enjoy it, and great thanks to Dan. Thanks, Dan. It's awesome. I've never gotten a box from anybody. I'm always sending gifts to people. Oh, I mean, I got a box from Eddie, and I use that all the time. But I mean, I've never had anybody reach out to me to say, hey, good videos, and keep up the good work, and here's something from me to you. So thank you very much. I'm going to return something back to you. I'll send you an email. So in here, let's see what we got. My dollar store knife. Oh. Looks like some sensors and some modules. Hey, cool, it's one of those little LED uh, displays. That's cool. I think some of this stuff is for what's in the bug big box there. It looks like some sensors, so. Some kind of joystick, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a joystick thing there, okay, okay. Makes sense. I know some of this stuff looks like RC related because I used to fly remote control jets and helicopters and stuff. So we got some servos. Oh, it looks like the wheels. Maybe these wheels attach to this. Yep, yep, okay. Yep. Yeah, it looks like some gear drive units. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to say that for sure. Those look familiar. 
Okay, what else do we got? Tires. Cool little tires. Grippy too, some nice grip on those. It's funny, when I used to do indoor racing, we would buy tires that are bald. No grip on them at all. And then we'd use a special, everybody called it sauce, that would uh, loosen up the rubber so when you ran around the track on the carpet that uh, you got grip. And uh, yeah, so you weren't allowed to use grippy tires like this because this is, oh crap. Yep. Okay. What do we got in here? Not too sure. It looks like some kind of something. I'm going to open up. Hot bed DCM. Oh, when I think of the word bed, oh, it looks like UPS broke the uh, piece off of it, but that's fine. Okay, yep, looks like something to do with um, probably um, 3D printing, because I understand the word bed, so there's probably a bed that this plugs into something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got some breakout cables. Usually these are used for IDE cables and stuff like that, but these guys have gone ahead and put... Bogo pins, if that's the right term, so that way you could use um, breadboards and stuff. Yes, definitely we'll use those, and definitely like those. Thank you very much. What do we got in here? Doesn't I don't think we have drywall anchors. I don't think he's going to send me drywall anchors. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This looks like the controller for something. Key Studio. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, and I bet you... Yeah, this is for the motors because they can see the little uh, pins on there. I can't remember the name of these connectors, but I used to use them in RC stuff. Ooh, this looks cool. I see a Bluetooth module. ESP32S. Well, that would be something to do with our Arduinos. Like I said, I'm new to this, guys. I see a lot of people using them on YouTube and stuff like that, but I have no idea how to do programming. That is the least favorite part of my even my day-to-day -day job i hate coding and php and doing um, powershell and stuff like that and arduino or uno cool <laughs> yeah yeah okay and we got a bluetooth module with some bogo pins again oh a raspberry pi yeah i got a couple of these i use these around the house this is a pi zero 1.3 a couple over there on the bench and, uh, yeah, okay, so let's put that back in there so we don't mess too much up here. I'm going to have to dive into some of this stuff tonight. I think one of the projects that I mentioned to Dan back and forth was I wanted to see if I can make um, an ESP um, project as small as I possibly can to read temperature and control my fan for my amplifiers. So the amplifiers get hot, but I don't need a fan running 100%. So if I could keep the fan running and if it gets too, too hot because it maybe the temperature in here from the day to day, like in summer, it'd be really hot. In the winter, it'd be cold and the amplifiers live on the floor. So they will be a little bit temperature or a little bit lower temperature from the room. So my idea was to use an Arduino or some kind of small Pico um, device to, if I said that right, control a fan by temperature by monitoring the heat sink so yeah so this what do we got here this looks like a probably a board that plugs into one of those nanos because i see a whole bunch of relays and some transistors to turn on and off the relay so yeah a breakout board oh and they got some isolation in there too cool eight relay module mm, cool i wonder why people don't use fets for switches these days i maybe isolation Maybe beautiful. I mean, if you're switching DC, that makes sense. But AC, in my areas, yeah, audio is AC. But yeah, it looks like then we got some isolation, I op optical <laughs> optical couplers because I see those. Looks like some surface mount LEDs. That's pretty cool. Put that back in here. And then we got USB cable, boxes and boxes and boxes of those. What's this? Coding array. What the heck? What is this? Hmm. It's a big box. What the heck? What did you send me? Coding array starter kit for Adreno. Oh, oh really? That, that's awesome. No way. It's like a full kit. 
Nice! I'm gonna have no idea how to use it. it. Smells like plastic. I have no idea how to use this, Dan, so prepare for some questions. What does this say? Coating Array Starter Kit for Adrenos. Scan QR code for details. Thank you for purchasing a coating kit. Well, this one was given to me. Thanks, Dan. This big pamphlet here. Whoa. What's inside of here? This is a big, this is a big box. This is a big board. I like the box. Oh, here we go. Well, let's get some slider switches, photo resistors, hall effects, mic modules, flame module. I mean, I get to put a fire. Oh, yeah. LCD modules, um, some LED stuff, buzzers, ultrasonic distance measure. Okay, yeah, servo motors. Well, that's pretty sweet. Oh, and it looks like, yeah, it's got a big Arduino right in the middle. You know what? Let's, let's take this, let's open this up. Let's have a look at this thing. This is exciting. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> wow. Funky. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Bet you Dan's gonna say, hey, make something work, yo. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's got the Arduino built right into it, and it looks like there's snap modules so you can take them out and maybe use them for other projects and stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, well, it's got cables so you can plug into different. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, yep. This is going to be sweet. And I just received a DigiKey order where I was gone too. So over there, there's some thermistors and stuff. So, you know, and I got some fans. I'm going to definitely have to play with this. Thank you so much, Dan. That's awesome. I'm going to have to uh, give you a phone call or send you an email and ask him, ask you if you need any computer stuff because I work for a big IT company that uh, has access to computer stuff. So see if I can send him some, uh, maybe a nice workstation or something. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Dan. I am going to be messaging you here shortly to say thank you very much for the big box of goodies and all the little Adreno units. I've never programmed anything over Bluetooth. I'm not really a fan of Bluetooth, but I mean, I can overcome that stubbornness myself and uh, learn stuff. But hey, I believe I got some more modules in a box over there that I got from our UK friend that uh, when I bought my QA401, he sent me some Bluetooth stuff too. So... And I believe the board up on my wall there has Bluetooth. So, all right, I might have to come out of my shell and play with it. But anyways, thanks very much, Dan. I'll be reaching out to you. Uh, like and subscribe my channel. And you know what? Let's all go over to another maker and uh, watch some of his videos and help him out. Like and subscribe to him too. He helped me out. I'm going to help him out. Have a great day. Talk to you later.